hey guys welcome back to my channel and today we are on day number two of our playlist where we are gonna solve the python oops questions so guys yesterday we have solved two questions three questions uh, in fact so today we are gonna solve two questions and uh, i have prepared these two questions for you so yesterday we have solved three questions today we are gonna solve two questions so the question number one says that create a class called bank account with attributes account number and balance create an instance of the class and deposit an amount of money into the account create out uh, print out the uh, current balance so let's do that so as you have uh, as you remember that first of all what we do is create a class so i encourage you guys to first of all that you try the question first then if you are not able to solve this question then you can follow my method of solving the question so let's start i hope that you have tried the questions and if you are unable to solve the question let's follow this method and hope you build the logic simultaneously with me so let's start first of all we will be just uh, declaring the class that is bank account uh, bank account now we have to uh, give the attributes named as def in it in which we have to name the attributes first of all it's account number and then we have a uh, second attribute as balance now we have to call them as account number is equals to account number and then we have to self uh, we have to call balance as well and it's uh, self dot balance as so we have named two attribute as account number and balance and we have used uh, the attributes now we have to uh, what uh, they are asking next is create an instance of the class and deposit an amount of the money into the account so create an instance what we are going to do here is we will be creating an object let's say uh, uh, we have a bank account as abc is equals to bank account so we have created an, an instance an object here now let's take uh, it ask for two uh, two inputs first it's account number let's say we have an account number uh, 89897865543 any random value and let's say we have this account number and we have a balance of let's say 3000 all right we have a balance of 3000 and we have account number 2 so if i print abc print abc all right if i print abc it will give me an object see this is an object we have got so now um, they are asking us what they are asking us create an instance of the class and deposit an amount of the money into the account so to do that what we can do here is we have to first of all uh, we can create a variable here deposit is equals to uh, abc dot balance this is uh, what a deposit can give so if i call uh, abc dot deposit uh, deposit what it's gonna give us here is let's see uh, sorry uh, i just have to call deposit only because abc i've already said it here so if i uh, print deposit here so it will give print me 3000 here now uh, to uh, to deposit an amount let's say i have an amount i can take an input from the user okay i can uh, take an input amount is equals to int since uh, the the amount is an integer value so we should take an integer input we can say that int input enter the enter the amount you want to deposit into deposit into your bank account all right now we have uh, 
taken the input here now what's uh, what uh, next we are going to do here is uh, we have uh, taken a deposit here we have taken a amount here so simply let's say if the user puts the value of 500 let's say so how we are going to tackle this method uh, to deposit into account we can simply say that deposit plus is equals to amount all right if i print it here now first of all it will ask me what uh, enter the amount you want to deposit into your bank account let's say i have print 500 it will give me 305 3500 to make it more readable i can just put a colon here and a line break here and i would uh, take f string here and <clears throat> i can say that uh, curly i put i can put curly braces here as well and of course uh, round brackets uh, sorry uh, commas inverted commas here and what they are asking here is create an instance of the class and deposit an amount into the bank account print the current balance so we only have to print the current balance so this is the uh, current balance actually the we have to we have print the deposit amount and uh, we can say that instead of deposit we can uh, actually we have to put the uh, balance all right so we have uh, said amount so amount plus is equals to deposit so deposit is actually a balance here so we just need to say that balance is equals to deposit all right uh, and we can say here print balance now if i print it will give the same value however i just have to make it make it more readable so i can see that your balance current balance all right current balance is uh, balance all right so now i will give get let's say i put uh, 1000 so i will get 4000 at the end so you can put any uh, let's say you have a dollar so you can put any unit as well so we have solved the question number uh, four successfully now let's move on to question number second here so i again encourage you guys to solve this question on your own and if you are not uh, if you are unable to solve this question you can follow my method but i insist you to gu you guys to just uh, try at least to solve this question on your, on your own so let's move on to question number second and solve this out so first of all uh, we have to name the class as student all right now we have to take def in it and take which at uh, what are number of attributes we have we have two number of attributes so name then we have grade and self dot name is equals to name self dot grade is equals to grade all right now we have taken two uh, attributes here we have uh, named the two attributes here now we have to use them and what we have to do here is create a method within a class that allows you to update the student's grade now we have to create a method okay so how how we do how do we create a method inside a class uh, uh, until now we have just declared the attributes now we have to create a method here so how do we create a method so simply uh, just like we do in a regular function we just do it here as well we should just say that def the, the name of the method is uh, create a method within the so that allows you to create so we can say that students create students create we have create we are creating a method here named as students create and now we will take in uh, as self inside it and we do have to take it's compulsory to take a self uh, inside any method you are cre creating inside a class so we when we are creating a method inside a class we do have to take a self uh, inside the method as a pair first parameter and uh, so now uh, what they are asking next is create a method within the class that allows you to update the student's grade so it, in this method we have to create a method in which we have to update the student grade so 
let's say uh, uh, the self dot great is equals to great now we haven't uh, define the new grade so let's say we have a new grade here as a second parameter so we will be saying that self dot grade which we have already defined here is equals to a uh, new grade all right so in this method uh, the second uh, here student grade what they are doing here is they are saying that uh, self dot grade if you call and uh, uh, if you call first it will show you the grade then if you call the method here that is students grade it will just update the method so let me show it to you how it's it works actually so let's say a is equals to student all right now we have to take two variables here name name let's say it's Arsalan and grade is uh, let's say it's um, 90 all right grade 90 now now what if i uh, if i print uh, right now here is uh, let's say i print print a dot uh, grade if i print a dot grade uh, i will be getting 90 here uh, let's let me comment that here so that we do not get uh, we do not get that value again and again let's let me comment this first question here so that we do not get uh, that method that uh, code uh, run again and again so if I run this code uh, it will be printing 90 that we already know because we are just calling the attribute here so uh, if I call this method here so let's say if I call this method here so at I say that a dot student grade and it takes one parameter self is already a default we do not have to input any value here we just have to print new grade so if I put let's say 80 here and then I again print the value here you will see that how it changes the value of the grade let's see so first of all it's printing 9 and then it's printing 80 so let me print the uh, value here like this so that you understand it uh, better I say that the uh, first the initial or okay, right the initial grade is this and let me put here the f uh, updated updated uh, Updated grades grade is this and put the uh, comma here and close the close this brackets uh, sorry commas uh, now if I run this code it should run fine and it, sh it should be more readable see it's more readable so initial grade is 90 and the updated uh, grade is 80 so I have print updates here in fact I should be printing uh, updated grades so uh, you see that how it changes all right so what we have done here in question number two is very different from the one uh, fourth question uh, four question we have done from yesterday till today so uh, the this question is quite different uh, in terms of we have created a method layers like yesterday we have created questions in which we haven't uh, described any method here in the class but in this here we have described uh, we have um, used we have declared a method called uh, def student grade so I hope that you have uh, understood this question as well and let's uncomment this because we have already solved this question so guys I hope that you've understood this question and if you are not able to solve this question please ask me in the comment section if you have any doubt thank you guys for watching this video and see you next time